What's going on everybody? Welcome back Jacked Up Fishing. Well, I'm up here in Mayport, Jacksonville, Florida area. My buddy Ryan called me, said he needs some help gel coating this big beast right here. Boom. 31 Ocean Master Project. He's been redoing it for a long time. He's at the final stages. Needs some help gel coating the whole interior. We're doing that today. It's pretty early. We're letting the dew settle down, fixing a few things, and we're gonna start gel coating. I'm gonna bring you with us. Here we go. So there's been a lot of work going on on this boat. Over the past year, he's done a lot of fiberglass work. It's been sanded out. Everything's been sanded and prepped. He had to do a couple patches here, put a new fuel tank area in there. So we're just gel coating the inside today. The whole inside of this boat. Right now, I'm getting ready to wipe it all with acetone. It's already been prepped, sanded with uh, 30 and 80 grit sandpaper. And buddy, it is ready. All right, let me get to wiping down and prepping. We'll get back with you. Very important step right here. You wanna wipe everything down with acetone. Be very liberal with it. It also softens the gel coat and the resin and takes to the new gel coat better. Moving to the back or the middle of the boat, before we wiped it down, we want to uh, also blow it with a blower, get all the dust and debris out of it before we wipe it with the acetone. So, and you can see at the very end here, I got a big cloud up here. So the three brushes I'm gonna use, nine inch roller, cigar roller, chip brush. That's the three I'm gonna use. Chip brushes for the hard corners the cigar rollers are for the hard to reach places and the nine inch is just a cover we're gonna put light coats on until we get the coverage we want i'm mixing the gel coat up 1.5 percent so for two quarts i'm going to use 14.4 cc's i got a little syringe right here i use um makes it pretty easy so i'm going to go ahead get mixed up start rolling up in the front he's uh, he's got some work back here some patches he's doing and uh, we're cleaning up back in the back. So I'm going to start in the front, start doing the sides first. We don't want to coat the floor until we're ready. So we're going to start with the sides, do the sides first and get it rocking. All right, let's go. Here we go. I just poured the gel coat in a little bin right here. We're going to start with the front and work our way down this side. Nice light coats. The first coat always looks blue. It comes through blue almost. Cigar rollers I use for the corners, the hard to reach spots, because it's just nice and easy. And then I get the big boy out. Hopefully it doesn't break down. This isn't the right one, but it covers quick. Got to get it loaded up here. The first coat, I just want to get a nice light coat on to the whole boat. Because we're going to texture it too. So it'll look good. And the corners are where you really want to focus because that's where it likes to show where it's thin. Thank you. 
So we got the two front sides done up in here for the first coat. What a difference, huh? Looking good. That's just the first coat. Probably two more to go. Starting to sweat a little bit. It's getting steamy. Sun's kicking off. We got two coats on now on the sides, two coats. As you can see, it's looking white, looking real good, looking good. So we got both sides done with two coats with no wax. This final coat, the third coat, we are going to put wax in it and uh, give it a quick coat. We're going to let this kick off for about 20, 30 minutes and then come back and get on that third coat. All right, you can see I got the front deck done, both sides done all the way down. And it looks nice and white. So I'm going to get this. I got two coats and then I did a touch up coat. Just kind of go around, spot check everything. Now I'm going to put the third coat on. I'm going to add some wax and I'll show you how I do that. Let me go mix it up. So this is the wax we're using. It's Mar 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 Marpac. It's Mar Pro. It's called Wax Saw. It's an additive. And then what it does is it makes the gel coat cure. It comes, makes the like an eggshell on it and lets it cure real hard. So you can sand it and buff it and it's not sticky or tacky. I'm mixing it up right now. I got a quart. I'm mixing one ounce in there and I'm going to kick it off. Putting our last coat on the front deck and the sides. All right. So I got the, like I said, I got the deck done, the sides done with wax. Now we rolled it all. It's cured. It looks great. So now we're going to prep the floor now, get it all ready. It's already been sanded. So all we need to do is clean everything up, vacuum it out, wipe it with acetone and get the gel coating. Do you need more so we continue to roll the floor yeah, all the way to the back yeah. of the boat. And at this point, it feels like it's 100 degrees out. It is getting steamy out there, and we're sweating. It's, it's really hot. All right, so we're up on the gunnels right now. We got it all coated. Looking real good. So now I'm mixing the wax. I'm gonna do the final coat on the floor. And it looks good. It looks really clean. So we're gonna go ahead. It's a little blotchy right now, but the final coat will come out nice. So we're just finishing up, touching up little spots, whatever we can see right now before it kicks off. And uh, it looks really good. So we're just finishing up the last coat right now. What a difference. Wow, look at that. All nice and white. And that's how it looks. It's gonna dry just like that. We got the wax coat on now. So it's gonna harden real hard overnight. And boy, it is hot out here for March. Woo! It's gonna be a uh, a little rainy looking over there, but it's it's past us, so it's not going to rain. And this should be kicked off in the next hour or two. At least enough to where it won't get damaged by any rain or anything like that. But man, what a difference. What a difference. Good deal. I'll show you how it looks when we're all done. And it's uh next day and we'll go from there. Right, guys i hope you liked that video i just showing you what we did we did a huge 31 foot ocean mastered regel coat that boat's been in our family and our friends family for years now we've been working on it we love that boat it's an awesome design um pretty heavy boat and it takes waves really well um but other than that that's pretty much all i got for you on this video if you've done any gel coat work or if you have any questions hit me up in the comments I love to answer questions. I'm also really active on Instagram, so message me there if you have any questions about anything I do on any of my videos. 
And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down low. Helps me out, gets me more subscribers, puts me in front of more people. And if you've already subscribed, I appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who's subscribed and has interacted with me. I've met a lot of cool people doing YouTube. So uh, that's all I got for you. Going fishing tomorrow. If you see behind me, it's looking pretty dirty. We're charging anyway. It's been so long and wind's been brutal. Hopefully I have a good video for you guys next week. All right, see you on the next one. Jacked up out. Bye.